These are five places in Australia that are believed to be haunted. Number five. The Princess Theatre is a 1,488 seat theatre in Melbourne's East End Theatre District. The theatre has experienced several reported ghost sightings. Frederick Baker was a British Italian actor. In 1888, his last role was Mephistopheles. It's said that before he went onto stage, he said, I will give a fine performance tonight, but it will kill me. On opening night after he sang the last note of the opera, and as he descended through a trap door on the stage, he had a heart attack and died suddenly. Ever since then, a legend holds that his ghost haunts that theatre. Number four. The National Film and Sound Archive at Canberra is considered to be one of Australia's most haunted buildings. Until 1984, this building was the Australian Institute of Anatomy and had contained human skeletons, animal specimens, and artifacts. While being the site of scientific experiments, this history of death and mutilation has given it a supernatural recognition. One contractor claims to have been pinned against a wall by an unseen force, while others report that the downstairs corridor was once used to house hundreds of human skulls and is known to be a hotspot for paranormal activity. Staff have also heard noises coming from the recording booths, and they would even see things flying around. Number three. The Devil's Pool is a natural pool at the confluence of three streams among a group of boulders near Babinda, Queensland, Australia. Since 1959, 17 people have lost their lives in the waters of Devil's Pool. Of these 17 deaths, all but one have been young men, while reckless behaviour and treacherous currents may account for a number of drownings in the one location, the high number of deaths of young males in this one swimming hole seems rather extraordinary, especially when you consider that not all the victims were actually swimming in the water at the time of their deaths. In one instance, a young couple stood on the rock platform admiring the view, when according to one witness without warning the water suddenly rose, sweeping both into the water. While the girl was lucky to survive, unfortunately her male companion did not. Reports of deaths at Devil's Pool go back long before 1959. Number two. The Old Melbourne J.O. is a museum in Melbourne, Australia. It consists of a bluestone building and courtyard. It was first constructed in 1839, and during its operation as a prison between 1842 and 1929, it held and executed some of Australia's most notorious criminals. The museum is considered to be haunted by paranormal enthusiasts, Many have claimed that unexplained voices can be heard, and electrical interference has been picked up which could be proof of paranormal activity. Theories suggest that the voice of a woman claimed to have been heard might be the voice of Elizabeth Scott, the first woman hung at the jail. Number one. Australia's most haunted homestead sits in New South Wales and has had a series of tragic events unfold throughout its history, earning the title of Australia's most haunted house. The property was built in 1885, and in its time of existence it has had a pregnant caretaker pushed over a balcony, a baby thrown down the stairs, and a stable boy tragically burnt to death while he slept. Olive Ryan and her late husband purchased the Victorian Manor in 1963, and believes it is still haunted by the previous owners, who died between 1910 and 1933. Guests often report seeing strange lights, and feeling a strange presence. Many who choose to stay overnight report seeing former lady of the house Mrs Crawley, So that was five haunted places in Australia. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.